Mountain Trust concentrates on health, education and human rights in Nepal. We send uh, volunteers, we've got a joint programme with the IDCR uh, on human rights. The inspiration for the joint internship is to work with the Mountain Trust, which is a non-governmental organisation that helps uh, the people of Nepal. I chose Nepal because um, it seemed of the countries that I've been to in that region uh, the most in need. A lot of students were coming to us who'd been studying international development and the like saying our courses are highly theoretical, please give us some practical hands-on experience. It's true that you're never going to learn about really a situation like that until you face, come face to face with it on the real ground. So that's really what I'm hoping about, going to the actual place as opposed to just studying it in university. The internship is about bringing together the academic work that I've been doing over the last year and incorporating that into real life experiences. For candidates who are successful, it's to go to Nepal, spend a month or so working with a partner organisation. The interns who go on this programme can take the knowledge and skills they've gained in disciplinary and interdisciplinary programmes, apply them in the field. Women's rights is really, and human rights is something that really passionates me and it's really something I want to go into, so I was really happy that they could actually find a specific organisation for me um, and put me there. Our work is providing students from the UK, either graduates or postgraduates, with the opportunity to come to Nepal and expand their knowledge of their field, uh, not just in terms of the theoretical work they've done at university, but also coming to Nepal and seeing those ideas in action. We choose them on the basis of the groundbreaking work that they do and the goals that they share in common with the Mountain Trust. As far as Mountain Trust uh, sending interns to us, this is a very important program. We want people in UK, especially doctors in UK, to understand what is the scenario under which we are working. So how's the guy? Do you think you can send him to the board? Yeah. Tomorrow. And from the interns who come here, they get to know how does the neurosurgery department function in a third world country like Nepal. They put me with an organisation called Didi Bahini, which means Little Sister, Big Sister. And it's working on empowering women and gender equality um, and trying to mainstream women into Nepalese society because it's quite, uh, gender inequality is quite a big problem in Nepal. and voluntary uh, commitment to learn development is something that we need to uh, expand. If you come as a person to learn and work for development, then you need to welcome anybody that comes. The benefits are mutual. We benefit because we get very well-trained, motivated, committed, uh, would-be journalists. My time here has been over the last four weeks is to work as a as a say a Roman journalist um, to capture um, the events that happen in Nepal. So in news assignments with interns they come up interns come up with hey why don't you do the story and we said 
Why the hell didn't we think of that? So I have my own bicycle and I go around town. I've, I've been to Patan, I've been to Hatiban, where I'm based, I've been to Panchakumari. I'm able to report and to bring factual stories to the Nepali times of, of how I see the world of Nepal. In Nepal they have the fully immersed cultural experience, uh, especially if they, as we recommend, uh, live with a Nepali family for the duration of their internship. <laughs> I had a wonderful time with a, a family, you know, my Amma and my, um, my Bua who have, you know, taken me in and looked after me and treated me as, as their own child. I was staying with a Nepali family who have really welcomed me as their daughter and as their big sister to the 11 year old that I live with. As a foreigner, I'm really being welcomed into here. Being out in the field, it becomes very personal to you. So you have it on your heart and then when you're reading an article or you're learning about a subject, you can personally relate it to something. To go out to experience everyday situations that you read about um, through academic journals, through books, I um, mean to be able to, you know, apply those theories into practice. Um, that's one of the key things. The lasting effects on interns, it might have an impact on future academic study or it could just be that the intern and the partner organisations or the individuals within the partner organisations form a close and lasting relationship. Our students leave here with a collection of knowledge and skills to apply in the field uh, but it's the application of those, uh, those experiences in the field, they, they can come back, they have that experience, they've uh, developed their capacities even further, and it helps them in terms of employability, but also lets them do a bit of good in the world at the same time. Good job.